you through a simple uh, process of creating the MIDAS. And uh, what we are going to do, for instance, we have some jobs in this table of ours here. We have, if you look at the table, we have the job number, we have the expected compression date, which is date and time. We also have the completed status, that is of yes and no. And if I may run this table of hours, you will see that uh, the expected date should not exceed today. And therefore, in case there is a, ta a task that is not completed, that is uh, a task that is not ticked here, that means it was not completed uh, as expected. For example here, task number three was expected to be completed on, that is on March, that is in, on March or in March and it has been completed. Whereas uh, something like this one is outdated. It was supposed to be completed on that year May and it is not yet completed. And therefore, if you look at this table of hours, it is giving us various situations where tasks were completed and others were not completed. And therefore, if there is a task that was not completed as, as per today, then it will be flagged and reported as a reminder. And for that case, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is my switchboard form one. And if I double click on my form one, you see that there are five uncompleted jobs. Would you like to see this now? Yes. Therefore, I can be in a position to see the uncompleted tasks uh, fragged for me. It's only the one task was completed. And therefore, we have seen five. If I tick those ones that way, let's see how many will be fragged. And therefore, I just cross that one, then open my switchboard. There we are. Therefore, you can see there are two and completed jobs would you like to see them then i can see one two i have two jobs that are due and are not completed and therefore i will be taking you through a simple process of uh, coming up with such a reminder and therefore what you need to do is to uh, launch microsoft access and therefore we launch access for that case then once you launch uh, microsoft access uh, we shall go to our table and uh, design our table accordingly therefore just go to our database there then we can call our database uh, reminder that is reminders then go to where we want our table design we want our table design on our desktop before you click on ok then create then after doing that uh, after doing that one after doing that, we needed to go to design view here. We just go to design view of this table. We just save it as, uh, that is as T table, as table jobs. Then after doing that here, we needed to have our uh, job, job um, number. That is our job number, which is auto number and primary key. Then we have the next feed expected that is expected uh, compression compression expected compression uh, date this is uh, date and time then we have complete complete that is the status therefore the status this one should be yes and no then you save that table of ours therefore our table is T, uh, TRB jobs then we have expected compression date these are the feeds that we need then from here uh, we can go ahead and uh, have some tasks like for example let me just go to April April we had one task then we can go to that year the May we had one task then also today we have a task you also have another one today then um, you also have a task on we had a task on February we also had another task on uh, 23rd of March now this one was complete uh, this one was complete therefore this one was complete therefore these are the uh, tasks that we have and uh, we have indicated uh, how we expect them to be completed but 
Meanwhile, you can see one, two, three, three are not yet completed. You can also add a fourth one that is not completed that way. Then you can save our table. Then after uh, doing that, I can also uh, design a query on this, therefore create. Then I go to query design. I have that one. I cross that one. Double click, double click, double click. Then we can also save this one as our a query one the way it is then we can test it therefore our query is uh, complete they then just go to uh, that one then when we go to our query here completed that is in criteria we can just click no that condition uh, as no okay. then just uh, save and try it let's see what happens therefore now we have one two three four yeah that's good therefore you can see there is no tick that is for query one then after doing that we need to create a table a form sorry therefore you just go to create then uh, form wizard we are going to create a form not a table then using query one send everything to the right next we want it in tabular next then this one you can just uh, call it um frm that is our form our form reminder our form uh, that is our form reminder a reminder reminder reminders that is our form therefore basically this is our form reminders you see how it looks like uh, it will only display uh, tasks that are not uh, that are not complete and therefore if I cross now this one here, uh, this one, then I just go to again create a dashboard. Uh, therefore, I just go to, sorry for that, just create a dashboard for that case. Therefore, I just go to create, then form design. This is my dashboard or my switchboard that I expect to run uh, that way. Therefore, this is my dashboard. Just indicate that this is my, my dashboard dashboard this is my dashboard then just go to format then i can increase the font size for that case therefore this is my dashboard i can just save it as dash dashboard dash uh, that is dash board that way therefore i report my code on the dashboard in that when the dashboard runs it will execute the if now when I run the dashboard this way, it will now check whether there are some reminders and then flag them before I continue. Therefore, these ones will be flagged uh, once I open the dashboard. And therefore, for that case, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I just have this code. I will not just type it. I will just explain what is going on. Therefore, I just go to... Uh, first of all, I just cancel this. Therefore, I copy this code of mine here. Then I go to this part of the dashboard therefore i go to design view then i go to properties then this one should be put on form road event therefore i just go to event then on road uh, on road here therefore on road i just go to this point event procedure that is of the form main form or the dashboard then i hit the three dots here uh, to open the code window then i have my code here therefore i will explain my code step by step first of all we are declaring a variable code in store as integer then count it will count and complete jobs that are past the expected compression date therefore the code will take the variable that i have declared then it will count the number uh, that is the number of jobs job numbers from a table called TLB jobs and the field expected compression date should be less or equal to today. That means any date that is not equal to today uh, backwards and the condition complete is zero, zero is no, one is yes. Then what will happen if that condition is met? If it's true, uh, then uh, if count of uncompleted job is zero, display the switchboard. Therefore, for this case here, we are not displaying the switchboard, but uh, my dashboard, ladies and gentlemen. 
Then on the other uh, hand, else display message box detailing amount of jobs and give the user the option as to whether to view this or not. Therefore, if install that is my var value is zero, then the system will exit. It will not display anything. On the other hand, if the condition is true, that is if install the variable that is being counted here from the job number from this table. Therefore, if uh, this condition is true, that is if my job number from this one uh, is and uh, okay from this one that is if from this field if expected compression date is less or equal to today and com the task is one that is is not complete therefore it will execute this if message it will, it will actually be there are install and completed jobs like now there are two and completed jobs then it will ask you would you like to see them now yes or no therefore that is exactly what will happen if that is the case then do cmd do command do open reminders form as normal that is as a normal form therefore basically that is the code and uh, on the other hand ladies and gentlemen you can get this code from my website the url is just down this video so that you can just copy paste this code and use it for practice purposes so that you can also see how i have uh, accomplished that and therefore for that case i just need now to save this one and then run my dashboard and for that case you will just get that um, there are four uncompleted jobs would you like to see them yes therefore the system will automatically flag them these are the conditions one two three four therefore you can see how that one has been accomplished and to make that one even more effective it is this query here that i have used as the uh, raw source where i have put no but if i remove this one here if i remove uh, this no first of all we cross this one is failing to cross because it is open therefore if i just remove this no here and then save then run you see now everything will be displayed and for that case if i run the dashboard then i click on ok then go to reminder everything will be displayed and therefore you can see the point why i was he i had hidden the that is i had given the condition no just to see what I need. Therefore, for that case, if now we run when it is no, uh, if I just cross this one, our dashboard runs. Therefore, I run really be in a position to see those tasks, tasks that are not complete. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. See you in my next session.